Looks good, doesn't it? Fresh, cold milk, straight from the fridge. But where did it come from before that? Let's go and have a look. Meet Quentin Moxie. He's a dairy farmer from Forbes in central New South Wales. Looks like it's milking time around here, so we'd better keep out of their way. After all, they have 2,000 cows to milk today. We employ about 40 to 45 people. Um, those people are doing a range of jobs from milking, milking cows, feeding cows and, and growing the forage that the cows actually eat. We run Holstein Friesians, cows here at the, at the dairy. They're probably the bigger and high productive animal within, you know, of the dairy breeds. At, at the end of the day, the Holstein cow is, is a bigger animal, it can eat more, or therefore it produces more. I, I guess the number one feature of this facility here uh, is cow comfort. The more comfortable a cow is, the more milk she gives, the more comfortable she is, the more she eats, and ultimately that drives production. We, um, from when the calf's born, it's in hand-fed hand -fed milk for about eight weeks. The calf then goes out to graze and, and is fed through till till mating, which is about 14 months of age, and then the animal then is ready to enter the milking herd at about two years of age. And the average life of the milking cow is, is probably five to six years. Cows are milked here 24 hours a day. The total output of the farm is about 70 to 75,000 litres per day, depending on the season. It's trucked to Sydney. Trucked in semi-trailer loads of about 27,000 litres at a time. After leaving Quentin's farm, the milk ends up here, at the dairy processing plant. But it's not ready to be bottled just yet. The milk must first be treated by processes called pasteurisation and homogenisation. When milk is pasteurised, it is passed through these pipes and heated to make sure the milk has no harmful bacteria. During homogenisation, the milk is pushed under pressure through tiny holes that force any globules of cream in the milk to be broken down so that the milk won't separate when you're storing it in your fridge. Then all that's left is to bottle it before it is packed into milk crates and delivered on the truck to your local shop. And the total time it takes from leaving the farm to arriving on the shelf in your local shop is under 24 hours. Mm -hmm. That's right, Raz, just one day for beautiful, fresh milk. But there's more things in the dairy section than just milk. From milk, we can make yogurt, we can get cream, mm. butter, fantastic cheese, mm -hmm. not to mention ice cream. And we're going to use some of that ice cream right now. And how about this delicious strawberries and blueberries tossed in orange juice and honey. And the finishing touch, some Aussie made ice cream. So the next time you're piling ice cream onto your dessert, you can thank farmers like Quentin.